YouTube channel Zeke the Antique Freak here. We've had an issue with uh, making oil. There's fuel getting into the oil on this uh, 4020. It's an early one, Model 22T, 1964, right after the 4010s. Uh, so the culprit, in most cases, is this little uh, fuel pump here. So I've put a new one on, and uh, when the diaphragm goes, the apparently the fuel can run into the engine. So the I was watching the dipstick. Lately, the uh, it's been climbing a little bit, getting fuller in the crankcase, so can't leave it too long. The oil gets so thin that you can wash the bearings out and uh, and cause no end to grief and expense. So the uh, here's all the tools it took for the job. Of course, uh, I was at one John Deere dealer and I picked up a new pump, installed it, and then it's uh, weeping. The fuel is just running out of the weep hole here, so it is assembled wrong. Uh, that's the old one. So we're assuming the diaphragm in here, you can't take it apart and look at it, but uh, the uh, instead of coming through the weep hole that the fuel would go into the engine. So what we needed for tools here was an uh, inch and a quarter to drop the uh, drain bung out of the oil pan. And then uh, 5 eighths and a 9 sixteenths. These angle wrenches are really handy for this job. Then a ratchet half inch and a 9 sixteenths. So the, uh, the half inch was for the fuel pump bolts, mount bolts. 9 16 for the oil filter base cover and then uh, this line wrench here saves scarring up your up your fittings uh, use this product both on the threads of the fittings and uh, and on the, on the gasket there it's uh, that's very old and you can still get it and nowadays it's called a uh, non-hardening so there was a half inch wrench uh, to bleed the primary filter and 9 16 wrench for a backup you want to support these pieces when you're tightening the fittings and uh, putting the lines on because you can uh, easily damage these uh, twin towers here. So the big screwdriver is for the uh, flywheel. Both takes the cover off and allows you to uh, rotate the engine until the camshaft is out of stroke. So the, uh, oh, we'll just get in here somewhere now. If there's enough light, uh, the primer, I've got a full stroke here because the cam is away from it. If the cam is towards it, then the uh, then you won't be able to get a full stroke on that pump. Here's the access hole to turn the engine over should you need to or want to. And uh, just a fl that flat screwdriver, you can see the teeth. There you go. You can see the teeth in there, so you can rotate the engine over to get that camshaft where you want it. Uh, the oil level is checked with the uh, with the cap just sitting on the threads, not threaded down. Otherwise, you get an inaccurate reading. So I've got fresh oil in there. I've filled it to the full mark. The filter is still empty. So in a, in a bit we're going to crank it over, but not, uh, not let it start. Try and prime the, the oiling system. So once you got the pump on again, so then you, you've uh, had to bleed here, and then on this fitting here, just let the air out as, uh, as best you can, and then then bleed the primary here and then see if you can get any air out up there. Now to work on it obviously you have to shut the fuel off. Now I don't know, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but up in here there's two things. You can drain the water out of the fuel tank with a fitting that's facing down with a wing nut on the end and the other one is on the horizontal and it, uh, it shuts the line off to the fuel pump. And then while I was at it um, I let, checked for water at the bottom of the of the primary filter here too at this at this fitting here. So anyway, I've primed everything. Uh, I've got a trace of moisture back here. Now I'm thinking I got to look a little closer. Looks like a wet injector there. So I'm going to check that out after it's running. Anyway, that's uh, that's about it. I'm going to go onto the tractor, battery permitting, I'm going to crank it over just a, a several beats in order to kind of prime the lube oil into the pump and then I'm going to start it up. So when I had the oil filter out, I pulled the paper off, uh, off the outside and I checked in the pleats for any cuttings that the engine was making and uh, I'm very satisfied the engine is in good shape there's no there's no metal bits, filings, cuttings, anything in the in the pleats of the filter element. So 
So I've got it in park, Get the clutch in, going to crank a few times without turning the fuel lever on. There, now I'm hoping that will have uh, primed the pump, that that's enough, and I will give her a start. Oh, not good. Okay, that was a failure. Out with the battery charger we get. Alrighty, anyway, Zeke the Antique Freak, not everything goes as planned.